Welcome to the Iconix OEE solution demonstration. This demo hopes to give you an idea of what you can achieve with a real-time OEE solution. So we're going to open up the unified web interface from our favorites folder. And once it is opened, you'll notice that we immediately have access to three sets of information, denoted by the tree on the left-hand menu. These are reporting, live production, and live plant view. The first thing we'll have a look at is the live plant view. Whether you are in charge of one or many sites, a live graphical representation of your plant status makes it a lot easier to see what's going on. You get a visual notification of problem areas in real time and can retrieve more detailed information if you require it. As you can see, the Bristol plant is giving us an alert. And by clicking on the factory, we can then drill down into the site to obtain more information, which you can now see up on the display. This form of navigation allows you to identify problem areas in real time and is one of the key tenants of continuous improvement initiatives such as OEE. Moving on to the reporting section. The unified web interface can also host your report viewing and execution. This is an option which can be added to your OEE solution with an Iconix ReportWorks license. What we can see here is an example of a summary report that may be automatically generated at the end of a production period. This provides all the metrics required by the plant operations manager to make any decisions he requires for the next period. The most important set of data is in the form of the OEE information. This provides the availability, performance and quality metrics. As you can see, this is provided to you in an asset-based tree format, allowing you to very easily group your assets and also choose the specific assets that are critical for you to measure to begin with. This ensures that as your automation projects scale out, the software can scale with you. Selecting a specific asset brings up a set of views and real-time components that display information relative to that asset. These views are actually also role-based, so depending on who accesses the system, a different view may be shown for the same asset. An example of this may be maintenance engineers and operators. The maintenance engineer would like to know the top five causes of downtime, while the operator wants to make sure he is within the cycle time limits. What you'll also notice is that these charts can be refreshed and altered in runtime, so you can go back a shift or period or even alter the data that is shown if you have sufficient privileges. Items can also be grouped to make it easier to find what you were looking for. Assets can also be compared with one another as you can see from selecting the high volume line. This shows a comparison of downtime and cycle times between the two mixes in that line. Once again, the visualization options can be altered if you require. This can be rolled all the way up to the root of the asset tree, where it is possible to get an overall OEE calculation for a number of specific plants provided you have access to the data. So, selecting my enterprise from the Productivity Analytics asset tree can give you a summary by plant. Now what happens if your plant equipment is not already connected to PLCs, but you still want to get a rough estimate of how much downtime you have from these assets? What the Iconix OEE solution can provide is a visual representation of the asset and the ability for your operators to simply select a specific downtime event. So as you can see, a downtime event can be selected when the downtime event occurs and then unselected when the asset is operational. 
So without any additional hardware cost or disruption to your production, you can have the capability to record downtime. Now what you can see is that this flexibility and power does not require a lot of engineering time, and more importantly, it doesn't require code. What we have is a simple but powerful point-and-click interface to allow you to configure the system in any way that you require. So what you see on the display is that I've selected the Mixer 1 asset, and I can now go in and alter any of the availability, performance or quality settings. Choosing the charting options is again a simple matter of pointing and clicking the options. If I just scroll the window across, you can then see the range of charting and reporting components available for you to use. Last but not least, a quick look at some of the options available for you to configure. There is pretty much everything from asset level configuration to selecting the responsibilities for your downtime, even to the extent that you are able to specify how you want your calculations to be made. So as I said before, easy to set up and use with powerful but simple point and click configuration.